I'm your East Lansing neighborhood reporter, Colin Jankowski. Wednesday, neighbors attended the city's open house to discuss the city's non-motorized transportation plan. Um, we've had a lot of great feedback, a lot of interest from residents. The city has been reviewing a plan that encompasses bikes and walkers, inline skating, roller skating, and wheelchair use. A big focus from neighbors has been bicyclist and pedestrian safety, something that Tim Potter knows very well. So I was uh, part of the, the first plan, which I think went in in maybe 08 or 09. Potter is now the general manager of the MSU Bike Store and is a big advocate for bike safety. He mentioned a few things he hopes the city considers as they make updates to the non-motorized transportation plan. So one thing that remains a challenge is the, the border, shall I say, between MSU and the city. So to get across there nicely and easily, you know, as a pedestrian, it's not that bad. There's marked crossings with signals. But for bicyclists, um, it's, I wouldn't say, improved enough. You know, it just seems like there's still a lot of work to be done. That sentiment was reflected in surveys from the city. According to findings presented Wednesday, over 60 percent of 256 surveyed residents say a lack of safe infrastructure and lack of perceived safety from traffic are the biggest obstacles that prevent them from biking more often. If you missed Wednesday's open house and would like to share your thoughts with the city, you can find a link to a contact form in this story on our website, fox47news.com. Reporting in East Lansing, I'm Colin Jankowski. Fox 47 News.